previously on The Bill. Why can't we find her daughter? Is my husband gay? I've never even met another paedophile. So what are you so scared of? Can we put all this business behind us now? Of course. We're having a baby. As you can see, three or four of the girls in the explicit material also featuring photos of the kids' party in the judge's garden. So are you suggesting that Sinclair is supplying kids? It's a strong possibility. And you're sure this is Sinclair's garden? Positive. My kids used to go to parties there. Some of these photographs look about 20 years old, especially the ones in the garden. Yeah, but look at these others. See, some of this material was taken with a digital camera, so it's got to be in recent. And also we know that Parks was distributing it up until his arrest earlier today. What about a conflict of interest, Gov? Sinclair is a mate of yours, right? He was a mate of mine. If he's been near a child, I want to nail him. We discovered that uh, Sinclair was corrupt. He'd been influencing the outcome of some key trials, but we didn't know why. Then we caught him taking this 500 pound bomb. Now my guess is that it was a pantomime for our benefit. The real reason was he was covering up his involvement in the paedophile ring. Exactly. <sighs> Do you think this is connected to Joanna's disappearance? At the moment, I think it's coincidental. But it's worth investigating. The problem is, we haven't got a strong link between Parks and Sinclair. The photos in Sinclair's garden are merely circumstantial. Well, the Met IT expert is going through Parks' computer now. What about Eva Sharp? Do we tell her this is part of an investigation into a missing child? Well, I want to find something concrete. But if there is a connection, of course, we'll tell her. Well, I can hold off briefing Jim. Well, it's not as easy as that. She's back in today. She's coming back to work. It's crucial that we control her access to the inquiry. She has a right to know what's going on. I'm not suggesting for a moment that we withhold information. Well, then what exactly are you saying, girl? If a member of the Sharp family is involved, we do not want Eva to be in a position where she can compromise the case. All of which begs the question, what are we going to do with her? I'll take that paperwork. Eva, what are you doing here? My job, Sarge. Look. You didn't have to... Listen, if I can relieve you guys of some of your caseload, then you can concentrate your efforts on finding my daughter. So, don't be shy. Eva? This was a critical incident from the start, but Joanna has now been out there overnight. Well, let's keep open minds, but we all know that as each hour passes, the chances of her having simply wandered off diminish. For those of you on door-to-door -door and search teams, be ready for the off at eight. You take refs at one. Luke, Nick, I want you back on regular patrol as of now. Mum, I'd prefer to be out on the search team. Sorry, Luke, but the usual suspects are still out there. We need to keep an eye on them. Come on, shift. I'll tell you what, it's going to make a change me leaving this place with some money in my pockets. Hey, mate, do us a favour and put these posters up around the building, will you? Thanks. So who are the happy couple, then? The domestic? Uh, Mr and Mrs Wilder. There's a time and a place, Don. And here is not a time and a place! How could you do that? Would you shut your mouth? And you not get on with what you're doing! You left her to die! Get your hands off me! This is all your fault! Hey! We're not open, mate! Mike Wilder? Yeah? Sergeant Ackland, PC Tottenham from Sun Hill. Thanks for coming in at such short notice, Sergeant Murphy. Please, I can help. How is Sergeant Gilmore? Mostly cuts and bruises. When's he due back? Well, he's decided to opt for a transfer. You're here on a temporary basis, aren't you? Three months, yeah. And you sure you can start tomorrow? Oh, absolutely. Right, well, I'll show you where the locker is and give you the guarded tour. Gina, you and I need to catch up as soon as possible. Uh, could you just give me five minutes? Yeah, sure. 
But it's going to be a bit whistle stop, I'm afraid. Parking spaces and ladies' changing rooms can wait. It's hardly more important than a missing person's inquiry. I'd be happier mucking in. That's great. Come. Hawks has deleted a load of emails recently. Well, you can retrieve them, yeah? Yeah, but it takes time, Jack. We haven't got the time. Parks is at rest. We'll already have alerted most of his contacts. They'll be building their defences as we speak. This is DC McKenzie from the Met Pedophile Unit. DC Webb. You've got to pull out all the stops on this one. We need a warrant to search Sinclair's house ASAP. Yeah, my team's going full tilt, believe me. These are the names we've got so far. No, this is going to take too long. The house is full of people. Mum. Paul's parents. Oh, they've been brilliant. It's just this deafening silence. All I can feel is Joanna's absence. Oh, I'm definitely of more use here. It's not going to be easy for you or the other officers investigating the case. But if you really want to be here, I'll support you. Thanks. We need to establish a few boundaries for both our sakes. I will not interfere with the inquiry into Joanna's disappearance. I promise you, Gov. I'm here as a police officer, not Joanna's mother. We've moved the investigation to the incident room. I understand. You must let people know if you're not coping, Eva. I will, Gov. And you must let me know if there are any developments. Are there any developments? We've got to talk to Parks again. Well, he wouldn't talk before, so what makes you reckon he's going to cough now? Anyway, he's on bow. We need the super to authorise it. Gav, if we don't do this officially, we're leaving ourselves wide open. We could blow the case we've already got against Parks. And if we don't move fast and somebody's got Joanna, we could be too late. What were you arguing about? Are you hurt, Don? But why don't we go and talk outside? It might be easier. No, I don't want to talk. I just want to get out of here. Well, it sounded pretty serious. It was nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. And you mentioned someone dying. Look, why don't you stay positive? Look, you've come at a bad time. Yeah, we realise that. We lost our daughter recently. For some reason, Donna thinks it's my fault. I'm... I'm sorry. How did your daughter die, Mr Wilder? Meningitis. She thinks if I'd uh, spent more time with Teresa, this somehow wouldn't have happened. Look, most hospitals offer bereavement counselling. If you want me to put you in touch with someone, if you'd like me to do that. No, you're right. I realise these are extremely difficult circumstances. But if you want us to take this any further, if your husband has harmed you in any way... You being here is not helping one bit. Yeah, all right, mate. Please, just go. All right, but... Uh, if you need to talk to someone in the future. You'll find that these things do get better with time. You gonna invite me in? I need to speak to my solicitor. Yeah, well, before you do, there's something I want to ask you. You see this? Do you know who this is? Answer the question. The child's name's Teresa Wilder. Yeah, I've already checked the royal and the fair amount. Well, she died very recently. Oh, right. Yeah, well, thanks for trying. What was that about? Um, it's a domestic we went to at the dog track. I lost their kid. Can't imagine, can you? Look, there's a file. Thanks. Yeah, I've been trying to put them in touch with the relevant counsellors, but they didn't say which hospital she was in. I can't find any record of the kid's death. This will be better than nothing, I think. Jim's looking a bit rough. I bet he's not sleeping much. Yeah, well, I don't think anyone around here is sleeping much. Did you stay with Eva all night? Not that I was of much use. Look, why don't you take the morning off? You look like you could do with the rest. I'm fine. Oh, uh... 
This came for you. As soon as I get a flat sorted, I'll get the mail redirected. It's all right. Look, if you want to crash at my place in the meantime, you're more than welcome. Well, thanks, but I don't think that's a very good idea, do you? How's it going? Uh, fine. Just don't be nice to me, OK? Gov? Yeah. Have you heard anything? No, not of real interest. Have you got a minute? Sure. Come in. Did you read my family liaison log from yesterday? Uh, yeah, I did. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. You know, girl's gone missing overnight and we haven't got a solid lead. Oh, I'm sorry. It's so... Frustrating. Upsetting. You name it, Jim. I feel the same. Yeah, I know. I know. I got Eva to tell me about every last detail of Joanna's life. I know that kid better than I know my own nieces and nephews. I know. You've written it all down. You did very well. Well, it still hasn't got us any closer to finding her child, though, has it? Look, I'm just scared I've missed something. There's no magic answer, Jim. And putting unreasonable pressure on yourself isn't going to help anyone. When you go for your training to become a family liaison officer, they warn you about over-empathising with the family and shying away from asking the difficult questions. Well, there's absolutely nothing here to suggest that you've fallen into any of those traps. Well, I've never dealt with a colleague before. And you think that's affected the way that you've dealt with the interviews? I don't know. Probably. I didn't lose sight of why I was there. Exactly. Was there anything that you heard or sensed that you haven't logged? Eva knew what I was doing there. She laid herself bare. Not the husband slept with somebody else. That caused ructions for a while, but the marriage recovered. And aside from that, nothing. Well, that's all here. What about the extended family? Were there any unusual reactions to Joanna's disappearance? No. Look, I am convinced that the answer to this inquiry doesn't lie within that family. Well, this all leads to one thing, doesn't it? Jim Carver is doing a very good job. <laughs> Wish I could believe that. Why don't you take a few hours off? Go and spend some time with June. You might as well know. We've split up. Not a good time. Uh, well, I, I just wanted to drop off some leaflets about counselling services. It's just that often people are a bit nervous about going to talk to someone, especially a stranger. I don't know what you're talking about. Your child, Teresa. Please. I just want to be left alone. Look, are you okay? I and mean, what happened to your face? So far, we've hit upon two names from the sex offenders register. You're winding me up. Trevor Smith and Matthew White. I need to speak to my solicitor. Look, whoever your friends are, Robin, we'll get to them in the end. So who are you protecting? Is he Howard Sinclair? Is he one of your friends? Come on, answer the question. I've never heard of him. Well, that's strange. Because we found lots of emails from Howard Sinclair on your computer. How do you know him? I told you. I don't. So you're a liar and a nonce. Look, if you know anything about this little girl, you must tell us. I only look at photos. I don't mess with kids. Really? I wonder if the same goes for the rest of you on the network. I'm on bail. You're not allowed to do this. Stop, you tell me what I'm allowed to do. I thought you could do the caffeine kick. Oh, cheers. I think we drank enough coffee last night to keep us wired all day. <laughs> Aye. I think that's the only time you can spend a night with a colleague and no one raises an eyebrow. How's Paul? 
Well, he's not too thrilled that I'm here, but he knows better than to persuade me otherwise. What about you? They're letting you go on murder, you look knackered. But if you can hack it today, so can I. I don't know what to say, Meath. Oh, no one does. I'm thinking of you, you know that. Cheers, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a Mr. Fraser downstairs who wants to report to Miss Beth. All right. Sheila, thanks for doing those rosters. I thought you left ages ago. Oh, dear, Nixon needed some coffee and John. I was free. Hallelujah. A sergeant knows how to use the photocopier. <laughs> Eva, you all right? Yeah, I'm coping, thanks. Listen, I wanted to thank you for what you did earlier. Oh, oh great, you've already met. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just not in Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Yeah. But Parks is at the bottom end of the food chain. That's why I won't talk. <laughs> He's trying to protect the big fish. Which means nothing. We can't prove it. When did they get back to you? OK, give me the details. Yeah, and the address matches his. OK, tell me what the username is again. What is it? Yeah. OK, you're a star, Keith. We've got a hit on Sinclair. This is the email address he's been using. And here's an email that Mr Parks has sent to our judge. Does it have an attachment? Did have. It's been deleted. But I've managed to track it down on the hard drive. And? It's a pornographic image. We can't yet prove that Sinclair's been sending dirt, but he's certainly been receiving it. It's not enough to charge him, is it? No. But it'll get you a warrant to search his property. Can you give me your girlfriend's full name and age, Mr Fraser? It's Stella Bryant. She's 27. And how long has she been missing? I arranged to meet her for lunch two days ago. She never showed up. I haven't seen her since. It's only been 48 hours. And how long have you been seeing Stella? Two months. She might have done a bunk. We have to explore every possibility, Terry. Well, she hasn't been back to her flat. Our stuff's still there. I know she wouldn't just disappear on me. OK, Terry, look, um, can you fill us in on some of Stella's background? Uh, where she work? She did part-time shifts at the call centre on Limassol Road. Is she showing up there? What happens now? Well, we do all our usual checks, hospitals, databases, and if we don't have any luck, then we put her on the missing persons register. It will take more, though, will it? The longer someone's missing, the less chance to find them, right? We'll let you know as soon as we find anything. Well, well. Given the current circumstances, I think that one goes to the bottom of the pile, don't you? What? Yeah, she's done a midnight flit, hasn't she? A missing person is a missing person, Des, and we've still got to do the PNC and priming checks. How have we? Marvellous. Call to say where it was. No, they just gave the location. They didn't specify whether the body was inside the car or not. Listen, you take that side, I'll go over here, yeah? Uh, Luke, we are talking about a female adult here, aren't we? Don't know, why? Well, I don't want to be the copper who found Eva Sharp's kid. She's a Tom. You what? Donna Wilder, the woman we saw at the dog track. Yeah, but the last conviction was five years ago. Yeah, but I think our husband's beating her up. Look, he was done for GBH against a prostitute three years ago. His wife doesn't want to take it any further, so that's another case closed. That's not the way we work, Des. Des, you sent the information on Stella Bryant's missing person. Yeah, they have done. We haven't heard the dicky birds yet. Right, I want to go back to the dog track, see if Mike's got any idea where the bruises on his wife's face came from. Right, well, I can't do that, though, because I'm on duty in the incident room on the phone. Oh. Well, do you want to come with me? You look like you could do with some fresh air. Nick, over here. Well, is she alive? Yeah, yeah, she is. Sierra Oscar from 140. Ambulance, please. Sinclair's definitely been receiving emails from Parks. We managed to get a warrant for Sinclair's place. So is now a good time to tell Eva about this? Well, I think you should wait until after the search, see what it turns up. 
Have you got any leads on Joanna? Still wading through phone calls. But virtually no sightings of her since the last CCTV footage at the news agents. It's like she's vanished into thin air. I suggest we organise a reconstruction. See if we can't jog someone's memory. Good. Yeah, you go ahead with that. Yep. Right. Well, give me anything. Yeah. Outstanding crime stats, lost property, anything. I want to help and I want to keep busy. You regret saying that? No, I won't. Mickey. Sarge? Mm -hmm. Any idea where the DCI's off to? Probably doing the hourly press briefing. Mr Wilder? What do I have the pleasure? I saw your wife earlier. She's got a black eye. Well, she's probably been drinking, knocked into something. That's a downside to this game. You're surrounded by the stuff. Temptation to partake can be too much. Isn't that right, Kev? That's right, man. Get related. Yeah, it's all too easy to forget what the game's about. Oh, and what's that exactly? Exploitation. We exploit other people's weaknesses. It's easy money. The key to it all is resisting the urge to join in the fun yourself. Every day I see the same faces having the time of their lives. Next morning they're 200 quid down with a screaming hangover and still they come back. You gotta laugh, ain't you? Yeah, sad about that little girl. You hope that she's just got lost or something, that she'll turn up all safe and sound. But they never do. Is that your idea of fun, Mr Wilder? Do you get pleasure from hitting women? Do you get pleasure out of that? Well, what are you implying? Did my wife send you here? Like I said earlier. Did she send you here? No. Well, get out then. You so much as lay one finger on Donna. She's my wife. What are you going to do about it? Mickey, you do upstairs. Greg, downstairs. Unexpected pleasure? I'm afraid not. Howard Sinclair, I have a warrant to search his premises. What? I've reason to believe you're in possession of indecent photographs and other pornographic material. Jack, what is this? Some kind of sick joke? I suggest you read this. Do they think she'll regain consciousness? The doctor wouldn't say. Everyone's in a briefing or working from the new incident room. Excuse me. Can I help? What I wanted to say is how sorry I am. Thank you, I appreciate it. Well, we'll explain exactly what's going to happen when we finalise the details, all right? Hey, you look great. So what have you got something for me? Well, I'm not sure. No, what I mean is... I... Luke, I'm here. I'm at work. So if you've got something... We found an unconscious IC1 female on the waste ground. Uh, facial injuries, it's a possible assault. She's been taken to St Hughes. Right, I'm on my way to the front desk. Talk to me on the way. Okay. You happy to do this for us? Good. Gov, this is Mrs Lloyd and her daughter Kim. She's lovely. We couldn't ID her from anything in her handbag. No cards, no check. She was carrying a Eurostar ticket. It looks like she might travel back sometime this morning. I know. Uh, do the tickets have the names of the passengers on them? No. All right, if she's still unconscious, we should try and persuade the hospital to see if they let us take some prints. See if that's possible. I'd like to thank the public for calling in. As each day passes, concerns for Joanna Sharp's safety increase. We still need to know if anyone saw a girl matching her description after 12.45 on Sunday afternoon. That was the last time we had a positive sighting of Joanna. She was in a news agent's on Wellbank Road. I should have taken her through to the back of the station, I wasn't thinking. Danny, you found a kid that resembles Joanna. It's going to make the reconstruction credible. Look, you did a good job. Don't beat yourself up about it. Do you want one? Oh, cheers. Look, I'll catch you later. Hi. 
Hey, I thought DCI Meadows was doing the briefing. Yeah, so did I. Thank you for your cooperation. Is it true that Joanna's mother is back at work today? Yeah. Eva Sharp is in the station today. She's helping us with inquiries. Have you got any fresh leads at all? Substantial amounts of child pornography were found by our officers yesterday working on another case. What's that got to do with me? In the same batch, we discovered photos that had been taken in your garden. J Jack, I don't understand. Children being abused in my garden? Photos of the same children who are being abused in other material. I also have reason to believe you have in your possession indecent photographs of a child and that you've been distributing them. I know every inch of your garden, Howard. My kids used to play there. They slept over here during the summer holidays. Yes, well then you'll understand how innocent it was. Val was a Sunday school teacher. She used to organize parties here all the time. Then you've nothing to worry about then. Okay, see you later. She's putting on a brave face. That's very convincing. Um, it's Des around. I've just seen his missing persons report on Estella Bryant. Estella Bryant? Well, we interviewed her boyfriend earlier today. Oh, well, I'm afraid I found her. Dead or alive? Alive. Just. She's ingested a massive amount of heroin. Looks like she swallowed some condoms full of the stuff and one of them burst. She's just been dumped. Left for dead. For a minute. Danny! Get this to the incident room. Now! Uh, yeah, I'm back. Uh, um, look, uh, why don't we go and talk about this in CID? Yeah. Go. No videos, no magazines, no photos. We turn the place upside down. Nothing. Satisfied, Jack? Go. Oh, we don't miss your computer. No hurry. Jack, one thing surprises me. What's that? I'd have thought you'd be concentrating your efforts into finding that missing schoolgirl. What was her name? Joanna. Joanna Sharp. Must be rather embarrassing getting snatched from your own police station. We don't know that she was snatched. Don't you? Yeah, someone told me that he fractured his skull. Who's that? Sergeant Gilmore. He got beat up at St Hughes this morning. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Well, I mean, if you're gonna get beaten up somewhere, that's the best place for it to happen. Yeah, we should do a, a collection or something, though. There's no point, he ain't coming back. Are you serious? We should get used to him as well. Yeah, but we could still buy him or something. You and Kerry are his mates, aren't you? It's not as if you're not gonna see him again. Look, I don't think we'll be keeping in touch. I'd like to say to the public as each day passes, Concerns for Joanna Sharp's safety increase. I tell you what, mate. I don't envy your job. I didn't know what to say to Eva this morning. Yeah, I know. I was about to tell her I was sorry, but that makes it sound like a kid's died. Yeah. It was the last positive sighting we've had of Joanna. Is he all right? He was in a news agent. There's a waiter service in here now. Yeah, I'll have a cup of tea. Two sugars. You'll find the sugars on the counter, sir. Bit narky. She's all right, Tom. Three teams, please. Never took drugs. I would have known if she was an addict. Look, we're not suggesting that Stella is a drug taker, Terry. So how did this happen? Well, we believe she might have been trafficking drugs. No. No. Well, we already know she was working as a prostitute. <laughs> this will wind up. Terry, we need you to tell us everything you know about your girlfriend. Well, obviously, I don't know nothing, do I? I mean, what about her friends? She must have been close to someone other than you. The only person she used to talk about was a girl called Donna. I've never met her, but well, I know they were good mates. Then where does Donna live? I've got no idea. Well, did Stella ever mention where Donna worked? I don't know. Stella said one of her friends worked at the dogs. I don't know whether that was Donna. It's the best I can do. Like the dogs, you mean the greyhound racing? Yeah. Okay, well thanks Terry, you've been very helpful. Danny's totally snowed under trying to coordinate the inquiry's desk and he's still got all these outstanding actions from yesterday. Well, the majority of my officers are out with the search teams and I've got minimum cover for the regular relief. Well, the chief is trying to organise more officers, but it's a nightmare trying to prioritise the calls. Hang on, I might have someone to help with Danny's workload. Sheila? Some more work for you. This doesn't make sense. What? For crying out loud, what? This email address. What, you think Sinclair's wiped everything because Parks warned her? No. 
The email address on this machine is different from the one that we found on Parks' computer. So what does that mean? That Sinclair's sending the images from another computer. What, a laptop? Could be. We didn't find a laptop in the house, did we? Nope. Thanks, Greg. Right. We've got to find it. Go. He's not at his house. He's probably at his rooms at court. We're never going to get a warrant to search there. Then we'll do it without a warrant. You're not serious. I am. You got a crush on me or something? Can we talk to your wife, please? No, you can't. Who is it? Donna. We'd like to talk to you about a friend of yours. Stella Bryant. I haven't seen her for years. How did you know her? There's no place for secrets here, Donna. You might as well spill the beans. We worked. My wife was a whore. So was her friend. Stella probably still is, for all we know. Well, for your information, Mr. Wilder, Stella is critically ill in intensive care. You what? Will she get better? We don't know. We can take you to see her if you want. I'd like that. Forget it. If you don't want to go to the hospital, Mr. Wilder, I can understand that. It must hold a lot of bad memories for you. Well, your recent bereavement. Yeah. But you'd like to come, Donna? Well, she's not going anywhere, all right? We're still trying to establish what happened to Stella. We're going to have to ask you a few questions. Like she said, we haven't seen Stella for years. Sorry we couldn't be of more use. The DA's asked him to source a replica coal for the reconstruction. Any idea what shop it was from? DC Kane. Yep, we've spoken out. We spoke an hour ago. You check the tape? Can you hold this for me? Cheers. Eva, um, can I check something with you? Uh, of course. Joanna's coach for the reconstruction. You need to know where I bought it. Sorry to have to ask you. Um, you passed. How long have we got? About five minutes. It always delays. No, we're going to lose press coverage if we don't do this now. And we've got to catch the people that used this route yesterday. We can't afford to wait. Well, it's no good running reconstruction if we haven't got the right jacket. The most striking thing about Joanna was the jacket. And the papers have latched onto it. I know. Go and see if you can chase it up, will you, Danny? Yep, it's DC Sharp, Sunhill. Look, I need some details on a person who purchased a Eurostar ticket using one of your credit cards. Yeah, sure. OK, well, can you tell them to call me back ASAP? Cheers. Is this the right one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's an exact match. Great. And are they doing the reconstruction now? As soon as I get this to them. Hi, Daddy. Yeah, I've got it. I'm on the way. Sarge, I want to watch the reconstruction. I'll come with you. I can manage, thank you. Yeah, we've got to get back to the hospital. Well, Stella Bryant's not going anywhere in a hurry, is she? Yeah, but we've got to talk to the boyfriend again. Give me 20 minutes. There have been no consistent sightings of any particular vehicle or person. We've got offices every 200 yards along Joanna's route, haven't we? Yes, sir. Well, hopefully something will turn up a bit further down the line. You all right with that? Good. Here's a coat. Pam, can yep. you put a coat on the coat? Yep. Cheers. Go. We've got a jacket. Great. And uh, even want us to come along as well. Don't let the press anywhere near her. Let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to start the reconstruction. I would like to ask members of the press to remain on the four allocated points along the route Joanna Sharp took yesterday. I will be available for questions after the reconstruction. Thank you. Oh, one other thing. Joanna Sharp's mother is here today to help the police with the reconstruction. She will not be talking to the press. Thank you. Sorry, it's just that Joanna's really fussy about this. One of her little bugbears. She's completely easy fit if it's not done just so. OK, places, everyone. Perfect. Kim, are you ready?
please let this jog someone's memory. Bush Sinclair's in his office. Don't worry about that, that's for me to deal with. Do you honestly reckon you can just swan in there, grab his laptop, and no one will challenge you? No. So how is this going to work then? Well, you don't need to know, do you? Because you're going to be sitting there. You know where his office is? Yeah, of course I do. Sinclair used to be an old friend. This is illegal, Gov. It's way too risky. Yeah, we don't have any choice, do we? I don't believe it. Jack Meadows. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Only, what, two years? So here I am, back to haunt you. Like you're here to see me? Of course I am. <laughs> if it's Mr. Howard Sinclair you want, I'm afraid you're out of luck. Oh, you're joking. You see, my wife's asked me to pick up some paperwork to do with a charity. It's in Howard's rooms. Oh, Laura's still involved with Global Families, is she? Yeah, she likes to keep her hand in. She'll kill me if I don't go back with her stuff. Look, Terry, the doctors are doing the best they can, but we really need to talk. Donna, Donna, come on. I've let her down so badly. Well, there's nothing you could have done to prevent this. If you just told me where she was. What do you mean? Mike wouldn't let me know where he'd left her. Sorry? He picked her up this morning off the train. And then everything went wrong. Why? What happened? Mike told me she got sick in the car. Why didn't you mention any of this before? Because he would have killed me. Please, I just want to see Stella. Oh. Yeah, hello. Uh... I'm calling from the High Commissioner's office. I wondered if you could check the diary for me for an appointment with Judge Strang. Certainly. I need to go next door and fetch his diary. Uh, hold the line for a moment, please. Sorry about this, Jack. Can you hold on for a minute? Uh, look, I'm on a double yellow line. Shall I just nip in and get it? OK. Yeah, the credit card company, they got back to me five minutes ago and the Eurostar ticket was definitely purchased on Mike Wilder's credit card. What, do you want me to go and pick Wilder up? I'm going to look after her from now on. Michael will get sent down and I'll take care of her. Right, Donna, we need to go through this. Uh, did Mike arrange for her to transport the drugs? This was the last time. She swore that she'd never do it again. So that's what you were arguing about at the dog track? I'd feel happier if I could sit with her. But she is going to get better, isn't she? Yeah, OK, I'll leave that to you. Gov. Yeah? Is everything OK? Yeah, as good as it can be. I was wondering, is there any news on the investigation? Well, the calls are coming thick and fast, and uh, we've got a lot of leads. But no breakthroughs. Sorry, Eva. Go. One other thing. Yeah? Is DCI Meadows working on a different case at the moment? No. Well, it's just he's hardly around, and uh, I thought he might have something else on. No, he's working this investigation. Oh. Look, no disrespect to you or anything, but I kind of assumed that he'd be given the press briefings as well. Well, I am the senior investigating officer on your daughter's case. Hmm. I guess I'm being overly sensitive. Well, that's perfectly understandable under the circumstances. Mike lied about your child. No, that's true. Oh, come on, we checked every hospital in the area. She died four years ago. Mike's smart like that. He can find a lie to fit every situation. Why'd you stay with a man like that? <laughs> I was a prostitute. Mike's a pretty good catch for someone like me. You could have left him. I was trapped. Where would I have gone? And what could I have done? Well, I guess this is your chance to discover that. I want to be by her bed. Can I do that? Hang on a second. You block me in! Hey, you idiot! I don't believe this.
Ronnie. Just some clear rooms. I'm off to your right and turn left at the top. So predictable, Jack. It's getting a bit obsessive. Why were you talking to me about Joanna Sharp earlier? Well, it's intriguing, isn't it? Pretty little girl like that disappearing without trace. <laughs> oh, yes, Jack, you hit me. Now, what would that be? Burglary and assault? That's quite serious. Uh, Where's your laptop? You really think you have the upper hand here? Where is it? I wonder what your superintendent would make of all this. You're finished, Jack. It's you that's breaking the law, not me. I hope you've enjoyed being a policeman. Because your career's over now. Hi. Did you arrest Mike Wilder then? Yeah, for the importation of Class A drugs. He's denying it all, of course. You got enough in him, though. Oh, yeah. I reckon he's looking at a long stretch. Mm. You, uh... Let's go home, get some kip. Oh, you too. Look, I can give you a lift. Don't worry about me. I'll tell you what, look, I can cook up a meal for you and Paul. Uh, no, really. I'm a bit of a dab hand in the kitchen. Jim, um, thanks for the offer, but I really think that me and Paul just need some time on our own. I am your family liaison officer. And with all due respect, Jim, what good has that actually done? Right, I'll, um, see you tomorrow. Hey, you're putting the hours in, aren't you, love? There's a lot of work to be done. One of the most important jobs at the station, not getting the breakfast ready. Happily, it's not mine. You're just on the up-bevs, then, are you? No, PC Tavener. No. Hey, listen, do you... How do you know my name? I make a point of learning all the PC's names on my first day. And who are you? I know your sergeant does. I'll tell you what, mate, there's a bit of a conspiracy going on here. They've been overrun by women. Yeah, and I thought you fancied them, mate. They were. Soft players. Where are you going? I'm off to the pub. No one invited me. Go by myself. What are you doing? Well, what does it look like? Do you fancy one? Hey, I'll join you in a minute. I've just got to make a quick call. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't know what to do for the best. I was talking to her, but I didn't want to wind no, up. You did exactly the right thing. I appreciate it. Looks like CSU's paid off after all, eh? I mean, not that this is a domestic event. It's just... I could look. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm making up for lost time. That's what I'm doing. Look, Jim, why don't you go home, get some rest? You've been under a lot of pressure. All for nothing. No, that's not true. You've been a real support to Eva. She couldn't have managed without you. 
<laughs> and look at me, I can't even look after myself, let alone anybody else. Well, if the family liaison work is making you do this, then maybe you should consider giving it up. This isn't about Eva, and it's not about Joanna, and it's not about work. This is about me! You stick another one in there, mate. Please don't. This is my problem. Don't make it yours. It's not fair to see you like this. Which is exactly why we can't be together. Look, this is me. This is what I am. And if you can't bear it, then oh, maybe... No, you... that's not what I meant. Look, I love you, and it hurts me that you turn to the bottle rather than talk to me. But why don't you come home with me? Because I don't deserve you. Of course you do. Even if you don't want me anymore. Oh, I've missed you, Jim. Oh. Why don't we just get married? How drunk are you? <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> well, I think that calls for a little celebration. You shouldn't have touched him, though. You weren't there. You don't know what he said. Whatever he said, it didn't warrant that response. He was talking about Joanna. What? What is it? Just go home, Eva. Oi. What's going on, Mickey? Nothing. Now, you listen to me. You two have been sneaking around all day, and I have just seen Greg McKenzie from the paedophile unit. No one will tell me what you're doing. Don't you lie to me, Mickey. We're investigating a suspected paedophile ring. We don't know whether it's connected to the disappearance of Joanna. Time on the bill. Sinclair wants Jack's head. He has powerful friends. And what happens if I don't find anything? Then I'm afraid you stand to lose your career. No one's going to blame you if you've had a drink. I want no one except Jim Carver. Hello, Joanna's mummy. Can you hear me?